I'm going to launch it so that simultaneously, so there are additions apart. Okay, there's all information, what all we have. First, we'll write it. Then, with equal speed. At different angles. So theta one, theta two. Each rock lands at launch point, knowing that one rock is launched at an angle theta with origin. What is the minimum distance between the rocks during the flight is telling? So what is the trajectory? Trajectory of this will be we'll take like this. Different angle himself is telling. So this will be the I'm trying to give first diagram, so it'll be easy for us to may not be exact. Huh? I think all of you will agree may not be exact. What is the minimum separation between them? Since the angles are different, so they must have a different maximum height. A possible, first of all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it can be possible. Can we get the other angle? 50 degrees. The range should be same, no? Complementary angle. So the theta one, if it is 37. Mm, I made that one more, no? Theta one, if I assume 57. I think uh, uh, let's not bother. Okay, how to get that minimum separation? Uh, can we calculate the speed also? Speed of projection? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, we know range, no? So this range should be equal to, let me first get this. This range should be equal to uh, two U or anybody value U? Sir, U square equal to 1250 root 2 by 12. 1250 by root 2. Huh? 1250 by 12 into root 2. Root 2 in numerator. Here. Huh? Yes, 1250 root 2 by 12. I think we can simplify further. Just take calculate and give the value. Okay, let's have some. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll proceed here. So now let me get, get into the the minimum separation one. Okay, there's a background is what I had. <coughs> I'll make diagram a little bit small. Okay, there's a minimum. So in fact, I'm going to project, let me call this a ball A, B A, theta one. Twelve point one three six. One four, I'll write it. Okay, there's a, there's a VA and a VA equal to VB equal to U, that we know it. Then we know this separation D. So what we do is like, let me keep this A at rest, then let B move, move with the velocity VBA. 
so it become very easy for us to <coughs> No need of velocity, no. I too don't know. <laughs> like I'm just calculating. Huh? What all information? I'm just gathering the information. I too don't know that one. So let let A be at rest. Then then what happened? The B A will move. And there's a very popular. I think everyone knows that the approach. Then when do it happen? When B moves with a velocity v b a. What is the direction? This we don't know theta. Okay, this is I think usually this is a b. Let me call this is m. This is what that minimum distance. Somehow we should calculate this theta. And we can also calculate the time taken at t equals zero here. At what time? The minimum at the time at which the separation between them will be minimum. <coughs> so for that, we'll go for V B A equal to V B bar minus V A bar. Okay, V B. So this should be equal to U cos theta two I cap U sin theta two J cap minus U cos theta one I cap plus U sin theta one J cap. Cos theta minus of U cos theta one I cap. This will be U sin theta two minus sin theta one J cap. Call this is everything V B X V B X bar plus V B A Y bar. Okay, look at the triangle. How, how the triangle will be? Minus V B A X This will be V B A Y uh, post. You know it is. This is V B A Y and this is V B X. I and this is what V B and this is theta. So what is tan theta? Tan theta or, or tan phi? I'll write it. Tan phi will be V B A Y by V B X. So this will become sine theta Okay, I'll get the tan phi. After getting the tan phi, the value of that minimum distance two meter. Okay, there. so now now next I'll go for sine theta sine phi is equal to S minimum by D. Anybody tan phi phi value? One by seven. One by seven, huh? No, no. Tan inverse of one by seven. Yes, sir. Tan inverse of one by seven. Okay. Now you can calculate the sine phi substitute. You'll get the minimum that one. Then also you can calculate the time taken. For the time taken, what is it needed? So we know VBA, the magnitude. So then, what is it like? They should be equal to the distance BM should be equal to VBA into that T. So this is what the time taken when the separation is between them is minimum. VBA is root of VBA x squared plus VBA y. Only thing is somehow that that initial things that that have to be taken care properly. The rest all you know, keep one as a test, other thing that one. Or else, what you should do, <laughs> you take this as origin, then define the coordinates somewhere at this particular point. Then you should define this one. Then you should differentiate. Equate to zero will be very, very, very lengthy. It will be very, very lengthy. So always 
the, the best approach is what the books I have given. We can also do one thing at any instant of time. I'll, I'll find out the separation between them. It'll be very lengthy until this one. There'll be. So what is that minimum as it is proceeding like this? And it is here, no? So that minimum separation can be somewhere here. Uh, for, for your understanding purpose, I'll, I'll just give a diagram. What we are finding out, no? That can be minimum separation here. Uh, I, just for our convenient purpose, 